Hello, today I am releasing SMC Plus. As you may know, when an RGH console fails to glitch, it has to reboot and try again. I'm just going to demonstrate it on this Trinity here, and you can see that without any speed up, it takes quite some time before the console can retry again. With the CR4 chip from Team Executor, they implemented a patch which reduces the timeout. This means the console can reboot sooner. I'll go ahead and show you what CR4 speed up looks like now. Okay, I've written a CR4 speed up image. I'll go ahead and show it. And you can see that it just retries slightly quicker than it did before. But that's still not as quick as it can be. When SRGH was released and then later RGH 1.2, 15432 introduced delayed slowdown, which moves the slowdown to right before the glitch. This means that the cycle can be much quicker to glitch the processor as it's running at high speed for longer. Because of this, we can speed up the SMC more than the TXCR4. Now, with SRGH, 15432 released speed up SMCs. However, he didn't have many consoles to test this on, and due to that, they actually don't work properly. Many times, those SMCs will actually cut off a successful glitch cycle and reboot anyways. This is something you can verify by carefully watching the debug indicator or reading the post bus. Now, because of this, I really didn't like the SRGH SMCs, but I've realized it is still possible to get quicker speed up on the console. That's where SMC Plus came from. I'm going to go ahead and flash the SMC Plus image now to the console and show you what that looks like. Okay, I've written the SMC Plus image. Go ahead and demonstrate here. And you can see how quick the timeout is there. It's really quick, which means that the console can get many more glitch attempts in. However, they've been carefully tuned so that even if the console does that thing where it takes a few fractions of a second extra before it handshakes, it will not interrupt the success and it will continue and boot up. And that has been done by testing on a lot of consoles, testing various installations, wire lengths, timings, and so on to make sure that it will never cut off any success cycle but will still reset really nice and quick. So I've shown you the Trinity. I'm going to go ahead and show you the other boards now. Okay, so here is my Corona Nandwich console, and you can see it also enjoys fast cycles with SMC+. For Trinity and Corona, the following installs are supported. SRGH with the X360 Ace, or DGX, and the X360 Ace V3+. Plus. I have not tested the V4, or V5. Jaspers are also supported when using SRGH, like my Nandwich Jasper here. RGH 1.2 on Jasper is also supported, however RGH 1.2 almost always instaboots, so the only time this would be handy is either covering yourself for the rare time where it doesn't, or if you have a really stubborn console that's just refusing to glitch consistently, but again, Jasper is almost always instaboot. So, not really needed, but it is compatible. Lastly, for Falcon and Zephyr, there's support for RGH 1.2 on Falcon, and there's support for X360 Ace RGH 2 using 15432 files on both Zephyr with the Falcon Freeboot and Falcon. SRGH is very hit or miss on Falcon and doesn't work at all on Zephyr, therefore I did not target it for these SMCs. These boards from the factory also have a longer timeout, much longer than Jasper, Trinity, or Corona. Therefore, the speed-up SMC also will be longer for these boards than the other boards. In addition, the RGH2 is not quick and it does not use delayed slowdown like SRGH does. Therefore, the timeout also has to be a little longer to accommodate for that. So while these SMCs will give you better performance on these two boards, they will not perform as well as the Jasper Trinity or Corona. Lastly, I want to mention that if your console is instabooting, this won't speed up an instaboot. But starting at two cycles and more, it will begin to dramatically reduce the time that the console will take to start. So how do you use it? Well, it's actually really easy. 
you want to grab my J Runner with Extras pack 2.9.4 or later. And when you build your image, when you go to Glitch 2, you'll see that there's an option for SMC Plus. You can just check that and then create your XE build like normal. J Runner will automatically put the SMC Plus SMC in, the correct one for your image type, and build the image and clean up after itself. Please note that again, as I mentioned, Zephyr images are not supported. If you're using Zephyr RGH2 with the Ace, you need to use the Falcon option. And Xenon, of course, is not supported. That's all for now. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. I really love pushing what RGH can do to these wonderful consoles. And I hope that you enjoy the SMC+.